Okay, they say the neutrinos are basically the smallest particles that exist, and I can't disagree with that because they are pieces of light and pieces of electrons. Now, this is an electron neutrino, which is a strong force concussing at high speed. This is the weak force, con not concussing with anything, it just comes through as, it's, as an entity. This comes through and everybody else got to get it out of the way. That's the difference. Fermion boson. Okay, my good friends, you tell me what you think. We have a red laser, which is shooting out light. They're light waves, and we'll see those in great detail in a minute. We accelerated them. They turned into white cherry and cough radiation, then particles that came out here, and the actual particle themselves split into black, which is the, the little black balls were attached to little white balls, and they really look just about like that back here. When they concussed, the white balls exploded, the black balls left. That to me is fermion boson. And this is how the light was accelerated using a red laser through a venturi. You'll see it all in pretty good detail, uno momento. Alright, you see that? That's the light coming in. It's starting to accelerate and starting to glow. And then it goes into that crazy white phase where this creates a cherry end cough and then the actual black balls separate from the white the whites explode and the blacks just roll away all right so you saw them coming up here and then start glowing glowing and then here they split you see the little black dots and i mean there's not a single taste of blackness in here and it's everywhere on the outskirts and as it comes back in out here. Now, how they separated, I can't really tell you, but I can tell you one thing that is certain. That when they're in this configuration, they own that big wave coming through. That Just one of these owns a huge wave like that as it goes flying through because that's you look up the 21 centimeter line, which means that 21 centimeters out, hydrogen owns that region. It will cause an, an electron to flip its polarity 21 centimeters away from itself. So we know these can control huge reasons. When you force everybody down through that venturi, this is the result. Now, we saw what comes out. Okay, I'm saying these are those electron neutrinos. If you can see something different than I'm seeing, I'd like to know what it is. We saw the extreme white explosiveness and these showers, which they say are electron neutrino showers because of explosiveness. We saw the black balls just roll away. So just one more time, that's the black ball, and that is the electron shower. They're both coming together, that one separates, goes on its way, and this one just explodes into that white cascade of, of power. Alright, here's where it gets a little geeky, but the, the basis is that CERN hit gigantic particles head on, just spewed zillions of things up, and then they found they looked for the littlest, bittiest particles, and they found all of these littlest, bittiest particles, which I agree with that. They are. Tau neutrino, and then these bosons, they could, I don't know if they could find them at all, and then the Higgs boson. I have found them all because I have already started with the smallest particles, and they are in this range already. And then we broke them to find the Higgs boson and everything else. Now, just so you understand, they're digging through this to find the particles we're using light. They're looking for the littlest particle they can find here, and then they're finding zillions of them, and then they're finding this and bigger and smaller, because just, they're just chunks. But they, when they get down and they found so many of these little bitty ones that they said this, they don't get any smaller than this. But we, we're missing some form of a charge, which is the ones I'm showing you, the black ball. Now, you see the red, green, and the blue and they're different neutrinos and they're different sizes and so forth. I think I can show you that. Now you see this is green and red through the same, I don't know whether exactly the same Venturi or the side-by-side -side Venturi seeing how far each one of them would go. But you can see the red virtually stops here. The green doesn't really start to concuss a lot or it's a secondary concussion. I'm not sure which. But 
we definitely have two different colors of light. Now, why? We can see the particle is virtually the same, the black and white, or just in case it's a green background. You can see the red bits are in here too. So there's other particles in here that are, are like just completely flat at this point. And these are still sort of concussive particles, um, it appears to me. Now, let's talk about why we have different colors. And, um, yeah, let's talk about the different colors. All right, this is not really accurate, but it's not too far off. These are regions that the nucleus holds electrons at bay. And they will actually create a zones and another zone and another bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, it depends on how this is hit, the structure of it. These are like bow and arrow strings. It hits boing. If it hits way down here, it goes real hard. If it hits up here, but less. If it hits way out here, it just bounces off lightly. And I believe that's why we have different colors, because of the speed at which it bounces off. And I can say that because of this. It appears the speed relates to the color because all of these came through at the same speed because they came from the same crystal which is the red laser crystal and they vibrate at the same vibration Pum, they come out at the same frequency that's they're red and that one turned blue why did it turn blue because it got crushed on both sides and added energy to it whenever you crush something you add energy it turned blue which is an increase in energy now it seems to be dropping back down to the red it's a very interesting you know um, anomaly actually because I haven't seen it in any other shots of them changing colors like that from the same source but I have seen this which is extremely interesting all right you see right up there all of these particles come through. There's that purple one that changed from red to blue. But this also happened. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with this. I don't think so because it's in a whole different region. This particle was originally the same emitted particles as this. Now, when it came through the accelerator, what happened? Did it interact with a piece of metal? Did it spin backwards and ricochet back and forth or whatever? I think that's the case. I think it's spinning backwards. And instead of spinning out its field with a right hand spin, I think it's spinning with a left hand spin, gathering the field into itself. And then when it concusses with one of these fields, it emits that gathered field. So let's take a look at that. Now, here's the particle coming through, that little white particle, and it doesn't have any real definition yet. Uh, it does have some form of a definition, but um, I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> However, it appears that that is its signature as it continues, and this spits off. What the heck that is? I have no clue. Let me get back out of here so you can see. All right, you see that? That's the white particle coming down. There's some form of a definition, and then I believe it's converting into this, but throwing that out. This is pretty serious amount of energy compared to the rest of these, the energy that's around it. I would have to say that this is a energy to anti-energy or anti-energy to energy situation. I can't think of any other way. I just don't, I don't know really. I, I mean, it's just very confusing at this point, but I do see it increasing in some form of power, whether it's condensing, intensifying, exploding. It appears that there's a lot of energy here compared to these other particles at this point. So what I'm seeing, whatever you're seeing, I guess you're seeing. Now, if you take it for bragging, take it for bragging. I understand this stuff very well. I did this stuff my entire life. Uh, I was in nuclear missiles in the Army, Nike Hercules. And I fully understand this as well as anybody. And I have the electron flood theory, and it works. 
and it works extremely well. And Rod and I have been working together here for years. I have more information than anybody on this. You see these, you see these concussion waves? That's the green. Remember the red? They were like nowhere near as impactful as that. That's just because the green is more like shooting or, or, or twanging a really tight guitar string versus a loose one. You're boing and ding. These are the twing, you got a bong as your red. Simple as that. So somebody should take care of Rod, fund him, and get him to, to uh, the guy is phenomenal, phenomenal. And thank God for Rod because he proved my electron flood theory, as far as I'm concerned. If somebody else can disprove what I think is proof, well, I'd like to see the disprovation. All right, danke.